actually came out not too bad. Nah, it's pretty ugly. So what's cooking in Buck's Kitchen? Here in the States, we have something called Fourth of July Independence Day. And I thought, what better on Independence Day, Fourth of July, is to cook a Fourth of July cake. All right, this is gonna be a red, white, and blue flag cake. Now, I'm not a very good baker, but I thought it'd be fun to try and see how this thing comes out. So I'm taking you along for the ride. If you learn anything from this, comment below because I doubt you're gonna learn a damn thing. All right, basically it's really easy though. Well, in my head anyway. White cake, <laughs> red cake, and blue cake. <laughs> Layer them, put some white frosting on it. This particular frosting comes with the sprinkles on top. Put a little sprinkle on top. And uh, I'm gonna put these inside the blue part as stars. I don't know if you all know what a red, white, and blue flag looks like. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And I've got all the pans, the eggs. Oh, and the other thing I'm gonna do, just to kick it up a notch, a little strawberry preserves in the red cake and blueberry preserves in the blue cake. Just for a little out of flavor. Because what's more American than strawberry and blueberry? Other than cherry pie? I don't know. Well, anyway, so let's get started. Again, I have no idea how this is gonna come out. So if you want to find out, stick around because this should be a hoot. So I busted out the big guns, the KitchenAid Professional Mixer. It's my wife's, I bought it for her a few years ago for Christmas. It doesn't get a lot of use, but when it does get used, it's damn helpful. I've never used it. So prepare for some entertainment. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make some cake. Let's make the white cake first. There you go. Dump in your cake mix. One and a quarter cup water. One cup, a quarter cup. Four egg whites, half cup oil. Put it back in the blender. Mm. I have no idea how this thing works. <laughs> All right, um, raise it up. And I'm gonna start it on slow. There's 10 speed, so I'm on five. So this is getting light and fluffy. I could be wrong. Has it been two minutes? All right. A couple of cake pans. Butter spray so it doesn't stick. make this thing easy to take out. Oh, I guess that wasn't so bad. All right, and just pour it in your cake pans. Move them aside. All right, so now that we've done the white, I'm gonna do the blue. Dump in your blue. Ooh, pretty cool looking color. Four egg whites. Half a cup of oil. All right, so again, I'm gonna put a little blueberry preserves in there to make the blue more blueberry. And last but not least, the red cake. Just follow the same steps I took with the other two flavors. Strawberry preserves. Okay, so before I put them in the oven, I have to take some of these white sugar pearls. I tried to find white candy stars, but I had no luck. So a great alternative are these white pearl candies, and I'm gonna sprinkle those and just fold them into the blue cake because those are gonna represent the stars in the American flag. All right, yeah, yeah. All right, so let's see how I can do with this. Ooh, pearl. 
thing and just kind of fold them in there. Give them a quick little stir. They're probably going to move around on me anyway, so. I've always found these things sink to the bottom, so I don't know. All right, three cheers for the red, white, and blue. The other thing I really don't know is if I can cook all these at the same time. Preheated my oven to 350 degrees. 40 minutes for two. I'm assuming it's going to take a lot longer than that. But anyway, we're going to stick them in the oven. We're going to take them out. We're going to let them cool. And then we're going to start stacking them and making them look like the American flag. So stick around. I'll be right back. All right, so once again, here's the fun part. Cutting the cakes, stacking the cakes, frosting the cakes to make it look like the American flag. First thing we need to do, though, is we need to slice these cakes horizontally in half so we can stack them, creating the red, white, and stripes. Okay. Hmm. Wish I knew what I was doing here. Hmm. All right, so now here's the super trick to making this cake work. You need to cut right down the center of each cake a round circle. All right, boom, just like that. And now we're gonna stack it. Bottom layer is gonna be a red, and then put a little bit of the frosting, spread that around, all right, okay. And then a white piece on top of that, all right, and some more frosting. Now this time, you take another piece of red and you put that right there like that. Hold on a second. This doesn't make any sense. Leave this in there like that. Okay, watch what I'm doing because <laughs> I'm confusing myself now. A whole red piece, a whole white piece, <clears throat> another whole red piece, and then the white disc, the red disc, like that. All right, so that makes sense. Okay, so as clunky as it was, actually it came out not too bad. Nah, it's pretty ugly. But this is it. This is my finished product. And what's supposed to happen here, okay, now this is where the magic is supposed to happen. When I cut through this, it should look like on the inside, the blue and the red stripes, like the American flag. All right, so this is this is the moment of truth. Looks more like the American flag in distress. I don't know. All right, you ready? Tell me that doesn't look pretty cool. American flag. Fourth of July, cake. Boom! I did it. It was hard as hell. I think it looks pretty cool. I don't know, what do you think? Comment below. Because I know there's a lot of people out there who can bake a lot better than I can, but this was my contribution to the holidays. Fourth of July cake. What do you think? Huh? Fourth of July cake. <laughs>